Hey everybody, it's RaspyGA. Today we're going to uh, experiment a little bit. I'm going to try to chop a Glock 22 um, to take Glock 23 magazines. So I got both of my frames lined up here. Let's take a look at them. You see I kind of marked it a little bit with a marker. And hopefully we can shorten these up. See the mark there. Um, never done this before. I'm new to this modification, and I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, extra on there when uh, after I cut it off, so that I can hand fit it with a file. And I'm going to try to leave a little bit of area back here um, behind the magazine. You can see that I got this, uh, this little line drawn there. And then I don't know. I might uh, might round it off a little bit. Do some kind of bobtail work. I don't know. We're just going to cut it down, try to get a little bit smaller, um, or excuse me, a little bit shorter grip on the, uh, the Glock 22 frame there. Um, the Glock 22 is currently running as a 9mm with a Lone Wolf conversion barrel. This is actually the first Glock that I ever stippled and then I re-stippled it. You can tell the pattern is kind of rough by comparison to, uh, to my carry gun, my Glock 23 here. Anyway, we're going to try to get these uh, <clears throat> chopped up. So let's get to it. <clears throat> Alright guys, I do apologize for my uh, shop, if you want to refer to it as that. Um, it's in a little bit of a state of disarray right now. Got junk piled up on every flat surface in here, so I had to resort to using the floor. We'll go ahead and start cutting on this nice and slow. Now as I'm doing this, I'm purposely leaving a little bit of extra room um, so that I can hand fit it with a file so that it uh, works, hopefully. Um, you take it off, but you can't put it back. So. Now, I don't I don't advocate you know just winging it on a Glock like this but this this gun is kind of my beater gun and um, there's only one way to learn I learned how to stipple and do grip reductions and stuff on this gun so it only seems right that I mess it up teaching myself how to chop a grip so There we go. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> all right you can see there's a little bit of interference here with the back of the base plate and where's left room hopefully you can see up in there there we go you can see that I purposely left extra um, for the purpose of hand fitting so let's go ahead and try to get that fitted up and then we will uh, continue on <laughs> We're getting closer. Real close. magazine taken apart and I've been able to get the magazine to engage the lock right there now the magazine is locked in so 
uh, lets me know that I don't have much to do. And also, you'll notice that angle is pretty close to perfect. And hopefully, not too much longer. Magazine uh, latch engages easier now. Still getting a little bit of friction from back here. Still need to get down a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, we're getting to engage with the base plate in it, um, but there's no play here. Whenever you see the magazine in a Glock or you look at a Glock that's unmodified, you'll notice there's a little bit of a gap there. Um, so like if you have a full mag, it gives you a little bit of extra room to be able to seat it. So, we're going to need to uh, continue taking off a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit more. <clears throat> Again, notice the, uh, the angle's pretty close.
Yeah, I'm happy with that for the time being. Um, <clears throat> I'll slowly fit it a little bit better, give it a little bit more room in there. Uh, but for now, I can at least go ahead and guesstimate and, uh, and, and knock off this chunk of the back strap. Let's change up my uh, sand drum here for my cutoff wheel. Sounds like a UPS man, I sound like if he's bringing my uh, crossbreed. Let's use the magazine as a reference. Grab this uh, in epoxy stuff smells when you're cutting on it. like Satan's urine. Stuff is horrible. <clears throat> Alright, we'll fit that up a little better and probably do something cool with it. But oh, my foot's going to slip. It's a good, uh, good idea though. Something somewhere along those lines. So, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. different the, the the Glock 22s and 17s and 31s um, and obviously your 35s and 34s and 24s and stuff like that the, the the reach here front to back is a little bit different just the way that the hump normally is and and this one has been reduced somewhat but um, just the the geometry of the grip is different from a 20 uh, 23 or a 19 or a 32 or something like that. So it just, it, it, it doesn't feel the same. I, I don't know how to describe it, but, uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. So. I hope I like it. It's like a tattoo. It's going to be there forever. You know? um, I'll keep working on this a little bit, give you guys a good basic idea, and then I'll come back and show you all uh, the finished product. All right, everybody, so the um, project has come to completion. Smoothed it up a little bit. There's still probably a little bit of work I can do just because I'm obsessive compulsive. touching up to do. Um, the stipple job on this gun, like I said earlier, is not that good. It's kind of one of my, uh, well it was my, my freshman effort initially, and it's sort of been touched up a little bit, but um, 
this may just end up coming back into my uh, my carry rotation. It's actually the first Glock I ever bought. First handgun I ever bought, I should say. And uh, I think I'm going to be really excited with these uh, with this new grip, make it a little bit more carryable, but uh, give me the benefit of the sight radius and the, the weight and the barrel length of the full-size gun. Um, look forward in some upcoming videos. Glock 22. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good, be safe, and have a good day. Thanks.